Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Maldron and today I will show you how to do mention Scarface on one down difficulty. As you can see, uh, in the very start, if you see there is at least one camera out there, you should use AMC. But this time I decided just to rush AMC. As you can see they can't use their phones, so I'm just free to kill them all. That's not like recommended way of doing it, because there can be cameras just pointing them up on them. But this time I was quite lucky, none of those cameras actually noticed me, as you can see. Well, that's not how you should actually play, but that's worked for me, so. And this is a successful run, so. Now I wait for this guy, because there might be a camera to the left. Also quite risky because he hides but I still managed to kill him as you can see so next I'm running there and also checking for cameras there are two usually or three cameras there one of uh, them you can see right there I'm just waiting for guard to come a bit closer just making sure he doesn't see this guard because that can make me in trouble if he sees and also while he's on camera right so I'm just playing safe now this camera can't see him and I'm probably gonna kill him now yes so let's see uh, now this is a bit tricky because there are two cameras right here yes you can see to the left there is one and this camera is looking exactly as a guard. So we need to wait until he goes away. So we can freely kill him. Without being pointed at camera. There is also a camera to the right. Which you can't see right now. So let's just wait and see what I do. I just rush a bit and wait for the perfect opportunity. Now... There is one camera looking at one guard right now, that's why I'm not killing him. I'm just waiting for perfect moment. I'm just checking if I have any AMC, but... So... Let's see... Almost perfect moment. That's a bit... And... Now! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I guess... And... Perfect. Now... Just taking USB from this guy. And all we need to do now is to hack the computer. Because what we need to do in the very start of this map, we need to kill all guards outside the house. Because that's like the safest place you can go with. There is nothing uh, which like should stop you from doing that. Unless you have not a lot of um, body packs. But I always suggest you to always clear as well after that so if you see some guards lying around near doors you should just clean clean them up right now this one probably was not necessary since he was not even close to the door no one would see him but you know you can never be too careful really <laughs> and after all you have to wait a bit between hacking so yeah well, why the hell not really but do you see those doors uh, to the right, right? Uh, they open when you open the last stage. So that's why you should clean up, because there can be guards just right next to the door. They can see corpses and bim bam, you lose mission. E easy as that. Happened to me a few times. So now I'm better safe. <laughs> right, so... See, I'm just hacking, hacking. It's not hard. Uh, the most uh, big uh, trick about doing stealth is actually you can always press shift, like no matter what. If there are enemies close to you, so you shift. It's like it saves you so much sometimes. Um. Uh, 
Right, I'm trying not to get on camera. Uh, this part is pretty simple. Y even if you run near the cameras, they will not notice you. So. Crack it open! Yeah, you can always pick packages while you run. It will help you if you have uh, modifications. Got it. Okay, the computer is working nice and steady again, hacking the system. Now what you wanna do, you wanna go inside the house, but be careful, uh, when you enter there can be someone going down, so you see me rushing quite a lot, uh, you should, if you're doing this first time, you should probably not do it like I'm doing it right now, I'm a bit experienced, and probably also lucky in this run, but uh, you should, should be much more slower usually. Don't forget to target the guards. Also, uh, you might also use uh, mines if you want, but I also prefer also for this map though so the body packs. But it's up to you what to use. Right. So this one was quite complicated for me. Because uh, I couldn't find the right Yato after. Stay back. Because it takes quite a while. You see, I got. I just almost got spotted there. But you need to react really fast. If you see that there is a guard coming at you, uh, first your reaction should be run away. Really. Do, do not shoot back. Only if you see that he actually noticed you, then, then yeah. You're pretty much screwed. Now see, that was quite a bad move of me because I decided that both of them actually wouldn't be able to come at me that fast. But I was wrong. Apparently this tactic was quite fine, it worked pretty good at the end because it let me actually run more freely around this area, which you see was actually nice so I don't think that this was a bad move because those actually guys who are on top are your primary target because you need to get inside the second floor or oh, well you see I will actually use a second floor but there will still be guards guarding second floor near your destination So there is also guard which going down and up right here. He was probably one of those I already killed. So I'm, <laughs> I'm actually not quite sure. 
Alright, I'm coming back to check because there can be one Yata he right here. But you see, I, I can see nothing, so I just return back. Ironically, <laughs> the right one was very close to it, but yeah, I should not have went here. But like, you never know really which one is right. Oh, here you see 99%, and in, if actually failed in this moment. That would be actually mission failure. I'm not sure if I was just lucky or that was skill. Uh, I don't know. Alright, so I'm taking another one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like, oh my god, what the hell. I, I think I checked all places. Like, really, where is the last one? Got a bit panic there. Like, oh my god, so lost. <laughs> and I find another one. Oh, this must be it. Nope. Then I can see the quad actually right next to me, but since I have quite low detection risk, it's actually fine. Now, I keep checking stuff here, but I already opened this one also. And finally, I decided to go back and check this place. I never actually found it before, this one. So, you can see... I was checking the guard, because there is always a guard right there, as far as I know. He's smoking or something. So apparently, smoking kills, but ironically, this guy never dies in this place though. Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm making a call here, you should not hang up while uh, making a call, by the way. Else, you will get busted. Here, I have no idea why I didn't just jump. Forward. Okay, there is something invisible block there or something which lets me just move freely. Now, you can also use the same way which I used before, but I decided this time to use another tactic. The basic idea of this tactic is that you wait until two guys come in down there and kill them at once. It just came to my mind recently because if you kill one of them up there. Uh, one of the guards can see it. If you kill both of them down, though, uh, you just need to answer two pages, that's all. And you can answer two pages at once if they are close. You will see that I will success at this. So just be patient. And. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, always keep a distance because if I were a bit closer, I would be fucked up. So you see, they are in very close to each other. I just wait until I can answer and press F. And you see, it's like very, very, Sorry, very, very tough actually. If I just waited like. I think one more second, okay. I'll probably fail. So, y y you really need them to be in very close. So, on, uh, very close, yeah. <laughs> and this was not probably needed, but I just wanted it like to be more clean. Let's say that. Since the guy who patrols upstairs, he is already dead, I think. Uh, in my place, though, there was two guys just standing, hugging each other, as you can see now. 
And what I noticed, one of the guys actually looks to me and then turns back. I decided that I just wait until he runs away. So I was just patiently waiting until he goes away, but apparently they just uh, friends, so they just keep talking to each other, they have nothing else to do, so I'm waiting for a while. As you can see, I just decided to try it out, it's just going away while he turns his back. So. I also was trying to check if there are any guys coming as well with him. But apparently, as far as I know, there are only... Uh, I killed two guards upstairs, right? So... And there are still were three more guards in this room. And one was still there and killed, so... I just wanted... Make sure there are no more guards, but apparently there was none. So I waited for a moment. I opened the door, came in, one shot at him. That's I think that's quite important to one shot him because if you notice, you you're pretty much fucked up. Uh, from this moment, it's already the mission is done. So now all you need to do is to grab a now, there is one thing which actually I failed once, I actually quite ashamed to talk about that, because that was a uh, very embarrassing <laughs> move of me. But apparently you can actually die when you fall down from this point. So, yeah, let's make sure you fall down nicely. As you can see right now, I'm grabbing everything I can to one spot and just wait wait for it right so I took everything just checking if there are any maybe extra money here well I can't really find anything so I'm just grabbing one more pack and look you can if if you jump just right here you can actually die I already died once uh, now if you go here though you might not die but be careful there may be a camera to the left so if there is a camera you should like not drop your bags just close to it but the way I drop the packs now should work in any situation though. Let's just keep dropping the packs and I will speed up the rest of the video because, um, well, there is nothing else to see for you, I think. Just uh, all about bringing packs. Also, uh, for the end of the mission, I called my friend because I wanted him to get achievement and plus a bit help of grabbing packs. So. Yeah, but I still consider it solo haste because I did all the job. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please thumbs up, and so I can make more guys about other missions. And well, actually, I mean this mission was done quite poorly, but it's just showing you that how easy it can be done as well. So, hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and yeah. Bye bye.